I've tried to, I've changed a little bit in that when I, so now when I scout, I think visually a little bit, and then I actually now have started to try and think like an actor. So when I'm walking around a room, I try to imagine myself less as thinking about shots, and I start to imagine myself as a character, to start to think about what the real human behavior would be of people, and then kind of back engineer what shots could be based on what I think actors are doing. And it's actually helped me a lot because I tend to now get much closer to what actors are comfortable with when they walk into set uh, and I show them what the locations are and start talking about what my ideas are for the scene. Um, because I don't, th it's not designed around the visual, uh, the visual anymore. It's sort of more around what I believe the behavior would be. Mm -hmm. And that's helped a lot. But I usually just, I have a plan in my head. I imagine a specific way it looks. I've got a shot list sort of planned, a general idea of what I think the actors are going to do, a general idea of what I think the behavior is going to be. And I kind of pitch it to them, but I don't tell them this is the way it's going to be. And then I'm sort of open for ideas. And somebody like Joel really likes to think and kind of feel out a room and think about stuff and try out stuff. And Jeremy, too. Jeremy's really amazing with that, sort of trying different things and sitting over here and leaning over there. And, and they kind of find, find it. And I want to let them do that. Um, it makes them really comfortable. It makes them feel like they're collaborating. Um, they're smart great actors, and so I'm completely open to them having those kinds of ideas. It's very theatery. It's the kind yeah. of thing where watch me rehearse this, and I'll do a bunch of stuff, and you pick out the thing that you think is the best best course of action. Yeah, Jen, typically, oddly enough, will just sort of listen to my pitch and go, oh, walk in over here, okay, okay, great. <laughs> and she'll, she'll do that, and then she just kind of turns on. It doesn't usually change blocking, but it changes. The performance kind of turns on when you roll the camera, but blocking she doesn't usually care too much about um yeah, she's kind of um uh not to kiss her ass too much but she's a little she's effortlessly great it feels at times yeah after i saw this movie my friend was like how was it and i was like she's just great she's just it just doesn't seem like it 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 hurts her to be great like she just kind of does it it doesn't i mean it's an amazing thing to see because i have to say most actors that i've worked with put in a lot yeah. of work they think about it a lot they read about you know, they read about stuff, they do research, they take tons of notes, they do all kinds of stuff, they rehearse, they want to talk about it. And like Jen's happy to do what I feel I need to do. Like if I need to talk her through stuff, she'll listen. But she really wants to show up, dream remember, for a director, huh? remember, you know, she knows the lines, she's profes professional, stands where I tell her to stand, and then she, you turn the camera on and she goes. And that's the high she gets though is that moment when, and she doesn't even do it in rehearsal, she feels, I mean, oddly, she feels ridiculous in rehearsal, but when the cameras are on and recording, she, it's like she goes to another planet, and it's really an amazing thing to watch. So she's li literally a dream for directors. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> she is. Like, this is what I want to do, she's like, got it, there's no quite, why would I do that, or what do you, how do you want me to, she's like, yeah, I got it right over here, thanks. Yeah, yeah, and then she does it, and it's always surprising, too, I mean, so. It's, it's an amazing thing to watch.